from Indiana's news leader. Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock starts now. We know that, that that resource is going to start dropping off, and it has already started. A month and a day after searchers found the bodies of two murdered teenagers in Delphi, police are trying to make sure tips in the case don't slow down. They say they're determined to bring justice for 14-year-old Libby German and 13-year-old Abby Williams. Now, the number of tips increased after a news conference took place last week with Libby's grandfather. But the number of investigators working this case now is decreasing. Our race fan Mike tonight is in Delphi, where the focus is still on finding the killer or the killers. In Delphi today, we learned there are now fewer police detectives looking for the person or persons who killed Libby and Abby. At the same time, we found people here just as scared today as they were the day the girls' bodies were found. At the height of the investigation, roughly 200 officers from more than 20 local, state, and federal agencies were working the case. We've probably lost just a few of the departments, um, and I know some other departments are, 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 have already mentioned that they're going to have to pull out and go back to doing their job also. At last count, police were checking 2,200 tips to the identity of this man a man they suspect murdered Libby German and Abby Williams. Some tips are redundant or cover ground police have already checked. However, others are prompting investigators to take second and third looks at potential suspects. So yes, there are some that we have went back at and looked at, and there's some more that we probably will do that too. This isn't television, you know. Um, it's not gonna be solved in 30 minutes. <laughs> Jennifer Webb and Debbie Smith work at Delphi's only florist, they talk to a lot of people. But everybody's, I think, still a little bit scared. You know, that, that, it doesn't happen here. Is it the neighbor? A you month know? later, you're A month later, there. sure, sure. Jennifer says she didn't let her children off their front porch until yesterday. Yesterday was the first time you let them First out. time, yeah, in a month, yep. I can't keep them locked up forever over it. A student built and donated this bench to the reception area of the investigation headquarters, where the word hope hangs on the wall next to Abby and Libby's picture. Even with the reductions in manpower, I'm told there were 70 or 80 investigators in this morning's briefing, John, waiting for their assignments as they try to track down the killer or killers of Abby and Libby. All right, thank you. That's Rich Van Wyk in Delphi tonight.